What's up guys and welcome to 2020 Top Series 2 Jumbo 3 box half case. Thanks everyone for buying in and getting your payments in. We appreciate that and we'll get off and going once I see a few names pop in. Charles is back again. What's up, Charles? Who you got? Three boxes up on camera. Wait 30 more seconds, then we'll get off and going. Charles got the Mets tonight. Mets got some nice hits. I've seen some some cool Mets stuff. I I saw the the Degrom uh, jumbo relic auto. I'm getting there, Greg. I'm getting there. All right, let's get off and going with box number one. Three boxes of jumbo, two silver packs and one chrome pack. Leave those ones in the back. First five, second five. Alrighty. Greg, who you got? Who else is in hanging out with us? Glenn just hanging out. Hey, sometimes that's the fun of it. So baseball is uh, off and going now, and I mean, there's some teams who have, I think, have surprised people, and I mean, obviously a big one is, uh, so the Yankees are off to a 7-1 and one start after tonight. I think they ended up winning against the Red Sox. Uh, Judge is homered in five straight games now, so he's off to a good start. Um, another surprising one I thought was the Orioles. They're off to a 5-3 and three start. That one was a little surprising to me. Definitely wasn't expected. Cubs are off to a 7-2 and two start. So definitely some good stuff, but there's other teams struggling too. I mean, definitely a lot of, a lot of teams that um, teams that we thought would start off good have struggled so far. So 1980s St. Louis Cardinals blue parallel. Guzman Gold, Diaz Foil, Pete Alonzo 2030, Ron Wick, and our first Luis Robert. Sleeve and top all these ones as we go. Space there. Always like to check the back just to make sure. Luis Robert number one. Kevin Crone. Uh, 
Who else is in hanging out with us? And Jake Fraley, rookie auto. Going to the Mariners. It's Jake Fraley, rookie autograph. Going to the Mariners. There we go. Hey, hey Charles. That's uh that's part of it. I mean, who would have thought I mean, I haven't why how is uh this, I guess this would be a question for you. How is uh Keon Wong doing? Gavin Lux twenty thirty, we'll sleeve that one up. I mean I'd seen a lot of stuff or a lot of people I should say, uh who are really high on him. Um I I think that that's what I've seen. I don't know how he started the season. I don't even know if he's in the majors, but as what I've seen, a lot of people are really high on him. I mean, I think I think a big thing is that a lot of teams are struggling, um, not just to, due to positive COVID tests, but there's that Philadelphia Phillies card with Pete Rose on it. Paper. Luis Robert, 2030. I think uh, a lot of teams are struggling with not just positive COVID tests, but they're struggling with uh, injuries too. I mean, um, Chat Aroldis Chapman is out with the Yankees until I think August 11. He's not in the majors. Okay. So I think Chapman's out till August 11. He'll be back at the earliest. And then, top of this for bear. Um, Brennan McKay with the Rays. He was a pretty notable rookie uh, from this year. 300 batter last year. So, so some hope. So yeah, I think I think a lot of the. I think a lot of teams are struggling. And Juan Soto, uh, he he tested positive with with uh, the Nationals, so he's out for two weeks as of I think he comes back in four days I want to say there's that Phillies Phillies card with uh, Pete Rose on it Pirates lost pitchers in three straight games yep not yeah. that they were ever expected to do much yeah but. the Pirates uh, so in the series that they were swept in against the Cubs they lost three straight pit I think they were all starting pit well I know two of them that's cool going to the Cubs. Javi Baez. Um, that's the manufactured relic. This one's out of 50. So I think a lot of people were really surprised because, um, I mean, obviously the COVID, the COVID tests were kind of expected to happen, but all the just regular injuries are, they just continue to add up too. So Trout, uh, decades best. Yeah, so the Pirates lost. I know two of them were starting pitchers. I know two of them were starting pitchers, so they lost two there. And then I don't know about the other one. And they got swept against the Cubs, so. I watched the Astros game today, Stanley, and um, with Miley, Gold Foil, Acuna 2030. Um, man, what was his name? It was something Taylor, I think. I can't remember, but it was he was pitching in, so they ended up winning in 11 against the Angels, and he pitched part of the 10th and part of or the whole 11th, and he was dealing it. So he was just, I mean, he was just throwing straight strikes, and I was, I mean, I guess, I mean, Jordan's out for the Astros still too, so... Um, I mean that's another big big player big name player that's out. Yeah, but he he looked like he was on every single pitch. It was I definitely hadn't heard of him, Jordan Luffblau, Gold Foil. Tigers decades best. Bregman twenty thirty. Vlad twenty They come, they come back when you don't watch. I feel like that's how it works for a lot of fans. Whenever you don't watch, your team does better. Got 
out of black. George Springer home run challenge. Black Sandy Koufax wins out of 299. Gold Ryan Zimmerman. Justin Dunn rookie foil. It's a nice one for the Mariners. He's still 10 days away. So he he's out about a third of the season then. Yeah, it just sucks because, I mean, if you're out two weeks, you miss a good chunk of the season. And I mean, I guess I guess uh, Robert is shadowing a lot of guys on the White Sox. I mean, Eloy and Jan Mankata are off to great starts. Both of those guys are, they're both off to great starts. And I mean, yeah. Robert's hit 21 hits last night. Or yesterday. Oh my gosh, the White Sox did. Yeah, oh. Robert let off. Well, they played a double. They played a double header yesterday. They had 21 hits, I think, in one game. Oh, really? One of the games, wow. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, they're, I, I believe, I think they're pretty close to uh, 500. They're either uh, just, like, one or two games over, or they're right at 500. I can't remember, but, um, Ozzie Elby's relic out of 199, going to the Braves. Diamondbacks gold. Um... What was I saying? Oh, the uh, so the White Sox. I mean, obviously Robert is pretty promising, but I think a lot of guys are definitely getting overshadowed um, by him. And even like card wise, like Eloy's prices haven't really jumped that much. I mean, Mankata's have definitely um, pretty significantly jumped from what they were at. Luis Severino short print. Luis Severino short print going to the Yankees. Like Snell Gold Foil. Nolan Arnato. That is box number one. Oh, they're one game ahead now? Yeah, Stanley. His uh his uh rookie his his rookie card, the one that's up on the stand there, it's at around I mean they go anywhere from about Fifteen to thirty dollars, depending on the condition. Savvy short print. I saw a Trout uh, Pristine BGS 10, the black label, uh, for sale in a card group on Facebook the other day for $33,000. I think there's only 26 of them, I believe. I think that's the count on them. Could be, could be a little off, but I think that's what I saw. All right, let's do our chrome pack and our silver packs. Joe Morgan, 1970s Decades Best, and Tom Seaver. Let's leave both of these ones up. Yeah, right around, I'd say $20 is about average. I mean, I see quite a few people buying them for uh, $20 no matter the condition, so I think people are definitely pretty high on him. Ricky Henderson, uh, Hyung Kim, Scherzer. Anthony K. J. Carlos Stanton, Quito Marte, Jorge Soler, and Tony Gwen Padres. Alrighty, box number two. Not a horrible first box. How much did you open, Stanley? I think you definitely. I mean, I've seen people open a lot of retail and only get like like they'd open two hundred dollars worth of retail and only hit one uh one real bear. The prices on everything, Cody, is just absolutely. Cri I mean, 
even the foils, and foils are never even decent condition. Um, it's pretty, it's kind of like the, the, uh, I'll move those ones to the back. It's kind of like the, um, the opening day Robert. It's really hard to find one in good condition. So I think a lot of people, um, that's kind of the struggle with rainbow foils too. So it's just so crazy that, I mean, it's upwards of pretty, I think it's pretty close to $200 for hobby and two jumbos. And you got, that's about average. I think for hobby, it's, it's a hobby and jumbo. It's about, um, one each. I don't like the, I, I think it's just me, Cody, but, um, I don't really like the, the rainbow foils that much. And his short print picture and his super short print picture, I don't think they're that, like, like, jaw-dropping pictures. Like, I think they're, like, they're not bad, but they're definitely not, like, my favorite. Like, I think uh, Juan Soto, his short print and super short print, I think those are two of the best. I mean, combination. I think Ronald Acuna Jr.'s are really good, too. I just, I mean, the Robert pictures just don't really, they don't hit for me. You know, and if you hit uh, Robert in a blaster, it automatically pays for the box, because it's like, like $22 a blaster after tax, so, I mean, that pays for your blaster right there. I mean, for me, Stanley, I heard of Dominguez last season when there was talks of him signing. It came down to, like, the Cubs, Angels, and Yankees, I think, were the final three. I think the Rangers were in there, too. So I think I'd, I've, I'd definitely heard of Dominguez, um, and I think, I think a lot of people knew about Robert. They just didn't expect his prices to jump to where they are now. I mean, his first Bowman Chrome is like $90. So, uh, Steven Duggar, gold. Kim, rookie foil. Chris Bryant, 2030. And a Luis Robert, base rookie. So in that same, same spot this time. Five blasters and no Robert. You know, Charles, that's that's a good move is to just hold them. I mean, jumbo boxes have jumped from like what was it, one fifty to two fifty? Yeah. So they've they've increased nearly seventy five percent from where they were at just two weeks ago now. Cole Tucker. go base rookie. We'll sleeve that one up. I think I missed one in that first, that first box, but I'll try and catch them. There we go. George Foster, 1970s decades best. Best auto going to the Reds. Is that an auto? George Foster. That's auto. sweet. Yeah. It's probably out of 50? 25. 13 out of 25. Yeah, cool. I didn't know they did autos of those decades best. I didn't know either. Just a sticker auto, but cool card. Going to the Reds. He'd usually buy the Reds for sh Shogo, but hey, that's a nice one for a vintage, pure vintage Reds collector. 1970s best. Foster auto out of 25. Sleeve up the Shogo real quick. I mean, it's pretty hard to compare really anyone to Trout. I think that Shed Long Gold. I think that realistically, I mean, a lot of people think Robert could possibly be around Trout's value, but I, I don't think so. I mean, could it happen? Yeah, but. And with Top saying that the. 
they cut the print run down on series two, I mean, that could possibly, um, that could possibly be a reason prices are higher than they regularly would be. And even for the future too. There's a real bear tops now. Josh Stomach gold foil. No, stay, I, I agree there. I don't think any of uh, Panini stuff really holds value. Jose Altuve, Jumbo Patch going to the Astros. Diddy Gregorius Gold. I don't think really any of Panini stuff holds well. Um, I think if I were, I think You're if you... are just baseball, right? Yeah, yep, just baseball. So I think, uh, like, if, but if I had a Dominguez first auto and you need the money, then I think you'd sell a card. But, I mean, I think there's mixed opinions on him. I think that he definitely could be really good, but he's also only, I think he's 17. There's an Albert Pujols short print going to the Angels. I mean, there's a possibility he's really good and that his first auto jumps from, I think they're right around, they finally settled around 900. So I think that, um, I mean, if his, if he really were to come out to what everyone thinks he, he will be, um, that first auto will obviously jump from 900, uh, I mean, who knows, it could be 2,500, it could be 3,500, I mean, it's really all... It just depends what he does. And it's even, I mean, he hasn't even played a minor league game yet. So I guess we'll have to see what he does next year. And I mean, next year, if he lights it up and the. Oh, good one is. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So like, like I was saying, if he lights it up in, uh, in the minors next year, his his first price will probably jump then. But it's it's a huge question. I mean, is it... Do you, like... The question is, will how good will he actually be? There's Trout 2030. Next stack. That's our first stack. Still looking for one relic out of this box. J. Hap. <laughs> Anthony Rendon tops now. Jorge Soler gold foil going to the Royals. And Bryce Harper 2030. I didn't know if her deck still did uh, baseball products. I didn't think they did, but... Nolan Arnato home run challenge. Christian Walker gold. Joe Ross foil. If anyone is looking for Joe Ross, the platinum of this is really random, but the platinum of him, if you're looking to build the rainbow, is up on eBay right now. I think it's on bids and it's got like two days left. I think it's only at like five bucks right now, but if you're looking for Joe Ross or you're a Nationals fan, the platinum 101 is up on eBay right now. Tops now, Justin Verlander, Cy Young. I mean, Marlins, Gold Foil. Brooklyn Dodgers, 1950s, Decades Best. 
Alex Bregman, 2030. little stack after this we got chrome packs and one box remaining and Justin Verlander black out of 199 going to the Astros orange patch one number 12 of 199 Justin Verlander Lance Lynn Gold, Jonathan Hernandez rookie foil. All right, last little stack box two. Kyle Tucker future stars. Jean Carlos State and Black Parallel out of 299. Austin Slater Gold Foil. Pete Alonzo 2030. Sleeve these ones up. Jason Legacy scheduled for 11.15. So about 35 minutes. We will have more Series 2 next week. Yep, Legacy is up at 11.15. Alright, Chrome Packs. Speaking of Chrome, Topps Chrome comes out this Friday. I know some people... Oh, this is... Whoops, I thought this was the Chrome Pack. I guess we're starting with silver packs. Topps Chrome comes out and on Friday. I know some people have found it. There we go. Jake Rogers rookie auto. Rookie silver pack auto. One of the Tigers. I know some people have found um, it in stores already. I know blasters are up on eBay for... I th Give me one sec. I think, they're, I think someone listed one at like 45 bucks or something buy it now so I mean and jumbos are at four four seventy five five hundred somewhere around there so prices are obviously just absolutely insane Cody Bellinger and Randy Johnson silver pack number two we got our two chrome decade best cards Josh Rojas, rookie. Luis Robert, rookie. There we go. Jalen Davis, rookie. Jose Uriquid, rookie. Four rookies. Nice Robert. One of the White Sox. Final box, box number three. Oh, we got, man, this blows my mind. Two chrome cards. Rod Crew to the Twins and Johnny Bench, 1970s to the Reds. Yeah, yeah, Stanley. Jumbo, jumbo chromes are around 475. I think two months ago they were on. Steel City pre-order for 250, I think they were. And the 475 is right around last year's price too. So I mean, you could obviously see where I mean, I think this year's class is a really good rookie class and I think I think Luis Robert makes it jump a lot. The checklist hasn't been released yet, but I think we'll, we'll obviously be in it due to He's already in Museum, Inception, um, Gypsy Queen, 
most most products he's already he's already in so and then obviously he wasn't in obviously wasn't in series one but I think that's the only product from this year he missed I'm trying to think of any others but so we'll put our chromes over here to the side of hobby. Three not horrible autos so far. Maybe this last box can bring us a nice one. Oh, did they change the Heritage High number release date to December? Really? Usually the only product released in December is uh, Bowman's Best and uh, Bowman Draft. All the way out to December, oh my gosh. You could probably get a refund, Stanley. I don't know. I'm trying to. I think, uh, well, Robert will be in high number. And... I, I didn't I didn't see anything that they changed the high number release date. Where'd you see that at, Stanley? All right, final box. Good luck. Austin Romine Tigers. Oh, Stadium Club is September. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because Stadium Club usually is a uh, usually is a summer release. Eric Cosmer, Gold Foil, Kershaw, Decades Best, Chris Bryant, twenty thirty. Oh, did they say? Did they announce it on Steel City? I didn't see. I, I figured Tops would have said something about it. I didn't see anything about it. I guess. I guess that's why I asked, but. I guess it's good to know. I didn't even think that, like, we... I feel like we've gotten so many product releases. There's a Shogo base rookie. I feel like we've got so many product release la releases lately that we haven't really missed any, but I guess the more you think about it, we have missed a stadium club. and But we had Finest. That's why I was, like, I figured they were, they were just a few weeks behind. And they're releasing, like, usually... Usually Chrome is, uh, it's a July, late July, early July, well, I think it's usually later July, and it's just a week after, that's why I figured none of the others would be that far behind, but I guess I was wrong, because high number would usually be September. There we go, Edward Elsley, rookie auto. Out of 199 going to the Cubs. Black. Sweet. Hopefully going to a Cubs fan. Two Cubs hit. Hits now. Nice Javi and Elsley auto. Have they announced anything for uh, 2019 update? We'll put that up there with the Javi. And a Brian O'Grady rookie black. Rookie black out of 69. Numbered 65 of 69. Going to the Rays.
Nice rookie parallel for the Rays. I'm gonna bump the Roberts. I like this. We know we got a stack of Roberts going on over here. Harrison Bader foil. Decade's best uh, trout or player of the decade trout. So that's Raider. Well, I don't understand why High Number was pushed so far back. If, because that's regularly Raider right Round where update it would be released at ten thirty. Maybe a little, maybe a few weeks earlier, but I don't. I mean, usually a High Number is before update. I, th I think it was last year. I could be wrong. Sam, uh, Gavaligio, gold foil. Probably pronounced that wrong, but. Otani 2030. I love the 2030 cards. They are doing Allen Ginter Chrome. They're doing Stadium Club Chrome too. Eric Legacy is scheduled for 11:15. Scheduled for 11:15 for Eastern Time, so 25 minutes. And Relic, George Springer Draft, 20, 2011 Draft, Draft 11th overall. Yeah, we'll see you there. We'll see you there. Yep, they got Stanley. They got Allen and Ginner Chrome. I mean, at least that was been mentioned. And there's uh, Vintage Stock Josh Hader. Out of 99 going to the Brewers. If you don't know what the vintage stocks are, it's the old, the old type of feeling that the cards, the cards had. Yeah, Stanley. So they got Stadium Club Chrome this year, and they have Allen and Ginter Chrome. Just uh, just because I think uh, Allen and Ginter, and Stadium aren't like huge products that a lot of people buy so they're just trying to get more money i mean it's it's a smart move but it's just tops trying to make money Alrighty, final stack here second half of box number two still looking for one more relic got our auto and got one relic maybe a nice robert too I already got one parallel, so possibly a short print. Here's a short print. Nick Castellanos, short print. One of the Reds. This doesn't look like a short print picture, but... I feel like Topps' short print game kind of stepped down for, for Series 2. I think Series 1, they were on a roll, and then they kind of lost that mojo for Series 2. Dylan Batances, gold foil. Johnny Bench, 1970s. Jordan Luplau. Come on, we need we need a big Robert. Juan Soto. Uh, home run challenge and advanced stat Trevor Williams Trevor Williams advanced stat out of 300 you can see that on the back I'll show you just a second got more sleeves real quick I didn't know they flipped over they had the advanced stats flipped over that's nice Lots of parallels in this box. We got the O'Grady and we got we got the Castiano short print. So it's got the average fastball speed. I don't know if it'll focus enough to show you guys, but 
So yeah, average fastball speed, max pitch speed, fastball percentage, ground ball percentage, FIP, WOBA, X WOBA, all sorts of stuff. Those are numbered out of 300. And that one's going to the Pirates. Significant statistics, Jorge Soler. I mean, Beria. I guess another good guy that's um, notable is uh, the pitcher with the Angels. Came from the Orioles. I'm blanking on his name right now. But he's thrown a f he's had a few good starts. Trevor, tre uh, another parallel. Keston Hiara short print. I think that's f our fourth parallel in this box. That's weird. We got two short print, two short prints, the out of 300 and the black. That's nice. And an auto, and I think we still should have a relic too. Oh, and the hater out of 99. Man, Tops is loading us up. Our short print, nice card. Running out of room over here. Called Ramirez Gold Foil. And there's a Luis Robert. Base rookie. Number three. Plus a silver pack and an insert and a, well, a 2030 insert and then it tops now. Sleeve up the Soto. Jeff Mathis, Carlos Martinez. One little stack left. Now we got our chrome packs, chrome and silver packs, and then do a quick recap. Jake Bowers. Relic, JD Martinez relic. Going to the Red Sox. Don't see, we haven't seen very many Red Sox hits this year. Oh, th those are two big names, too. Salem and Verlander are both out for the year, now that I think about it. And a Justin Dunn. I thought Verlander was hoping to be back. No, I think they announced he was out for oh, the year. Really? Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Justin Dunn, rookie gold, going to the Mariners. It's not a bad guy to watch out for, Justin Dunn. He'd be a nice player. And a Mike Trout, 2030. Let's leave that one up. All right, final stack here. Good luck. Blue Jays team card. Show the noisy rookie base. Jordan Alonzo tops now. Billy McKinney gold foil. And a Boba Shet 2030 insert. Going to the Blue Jays. That is it for our base cards. We'll do our chrome packs. Alrighty. We'll do our two decades best first. Willie McCovey, Giants, and Warren Spawn, Milwaukee Braves. If you're waiting on Legacy, we got 15 minutes. Then we'll, we'll be back with Legacy. Alrighty, good luck. Hadbert Elzele, Justin Dunn, rookie. Joey Votto, Abraham Toro, rookie. Final pack. Good luck. Yadier Molina Cardinals. Matt Chapman Athletics. Ethan Diaz Marlins. And Justin Verlander Astros. That is it for the break. Let's do a quick recap. 
plenty of veteran foils and gold foils. Just go through a few. Eric Hosmer, Padres, Michael Franco, Amidas Diaz. We got a few blues. These are non numbered. Blake Snell, Matt Olson, and St. Louis Cardinals 1980s. We got some 2030s. Bichette, two Trouts, and another Bichette. And a Lux, home run challenges, Soto, Arnado, and Springer. We had two Shogo base that I sleeved up, but I think there was one in that first that first box that I missed. So we'll make sure to sleeve it up during uh, sorting sorting shipping. Gold gold uh gold vats. Brett Phillips, Lynn, Walker, Diddy, Shedlong, Stephen Duggar, Ryan Zimmerman, Diamondbacks, Beria, Guzman, and Jeb Lowry. We got some rookie variations. Justin Dunn, Gold. Jonathan Hernandez, Rookie Foil. Josh Stomach, Gold Foil. Kim, uh, Foil. Justin Dunn, Foil. Just some foil in. Short prints. Kesson Hiara. Kesson Hiara short print going to the Brewers. Nick Castiano short print going to the Reds. Albert Pujols short print going to the Angels. And Luis Severino short print going to the Yankees. Top spoiled us with that last box. All sorts of parallels. Here's some numbered stuff. Blacks out of 299. Stanton Yankees. Koufax Dodgers. We got a hater, a vintage stock going to the Brewers, and a Trevor Williams advanced stat out of 300. All right, Luis Robert's one tops now. We got uh, a 2030 insert, silver pack, and three base. These ones are going to the White Sox. Got a whole bunch of silver pack cards. Ethan Diaz, rookie. Abraham Toro, rookie. Ricky Henderson. Anthony K, rookie. These are the Chrome exclusives. Warren, Warren Spawn, Braves. McCovey Giants. Bench Reds. Crew Twins. Seaver Mets. And Morgan Reds. We got one of the Phillies 1980s decades best with Pete Rose on the right. You can just barely see his uh, the back of his jersey, but I think it's I think it finally it's around ten bucks. J.D. Martinez relic, George Springer 2011 draft, Ozzy Albies out of 199 black relic, Berlander out of 199 black, Jose Altuve manufactured relic. Three, three Astros rocks. Showcase. We got a Brady O'Grady. Rookie Black out of 69. Going to the Rays. We got a Jake Rogers Silver Pack Auto. Rookie Auto going to the Tigers out of 199. We've got a Jake Fraley Rookie Auto. Going to the Mariners, 35th anniversary. Two nice Cubs. An Adbert Usley, rookie auto out of 199. And a Javi Baez, manufactured relic numbered 6 of 50. It's supposed to be the gold, but I don't really see much gold on it. And finally, our Hulk smash hit of the break. This one's going to the Reds. George Foster, 1970s Decades Best. Auto out of 25, 13 of 25. That one's going to the Reds. All right, if you're, hang, uh, if you're waiting for Legacy Football, we'll be back in 11 minutes with that. Uh, we hope to see you guys there. Thanks, guys.